Hello and welcome back to Tammy's Antique Vintage Dolls and More and yesterday we changed this little girl into this lovely dress and today this is Baby Dimples from 1924. Now we're going to head to her toddler sister. She's the bent leg baby. She has the bent legs here and they are swiveled at the hips. Yeah, she has the swiveled hip ones so they are attached to the hips and they move back and forth. Now this little gal over here, she is what we call the toddler legs and she has um, <clears throat> swing legs. Her legs swing back and forth and um, she has a cute little face. I like to get her head off and, so that I can put a little bit more stuffing in her to hold that face up. That's what she's in need of. But she has this, uh, this wanting to bend her head down. And that's telling me that her stuffing just isn't holding up her she head. She looks like she's all depressed. <laughs> <laughs> no. She's a happy. She's got the dimples still, so she's happy. It's the Roaring Twenties. Uh, World War One is over, and um, all life is good, as we think. And on the horizon is the Second World War, and they are not aware of it yet, but they are having a good time right now. And all these wonderful, beautiful dolls came out during that time, during the Roaring Twenties. And some beautiful, wonderful dolls of happiness, and <clears throat> because of, of the loss of life, in the world war world wars of all nations that were involved in it um the only thing that, that people could grapple like grab onto was to find the joy again in life and um that's what the roaring 20s was and there was plenty of money there was plenty of everything going around um things were life was good flapper girls were out and um entertainment was you know was was there um but at the same time, it reached right down into the lives of children as well. And these wonderful, beautiful, happy dolls came out of there. I noticed as I look for dolls from that time period, all you see is a bunch of happy face dolls. And they're just these great, big, beautiful, happy faces. And um, I, I just love it for that in itself because the craftsmanship of these dolls are just gorgeous. Um, I think what it is that, I, that also attracts me to, not just the size, but it's the expression, um, not so much on this doll's face as this one. This one here has the more um, accented happy eyes. The eyes are even squinty a bit uh, than even this one over here. To me, this one is just more doll-like, where this, I, on the other side, I see more of the actual baby that they were trying to portray. Um, if I was to, you know, and that's how I, I see it when it comes to... Um, the, the doll in itself. So to me it's like two different molds. Uh, more of a chubbier face, this is more of a slender face. But this could be, here again, you have more the toddler. So the thinning out of the child starts, you know, because they're walking, they're moving more. That could be what they're trying to portray. Could be. But whatever the case is, they're still both lovely dolls. I feel this one has been refinished. Uh, this one here, where this one is in its original paint. So, um, but a good job that was done on this doll. So, what we're going to do with her is, we're going to change her. But before I do that, I'm going to take off her hat, her hat, her headband, I should say. And we're just going to give her face a nice dusting. And I like just to get down in here and just we'll close her eyes. Yeah, lay her down. And just go over her because they sit in my room. And I know they don't get the, the attention that they need as far as um, being cleaned and everything. You know, I've, you get so many and then you start to, you know... forget about you know that you got to wipe them down as well just a nice soft rag this is a microfiber rag so it, it picks up the dust right away so there we go and those are the parts that are exposed on her now you can see her paint is starting to come off so I got a feeling that this was not painted with oil I got a feeling it was painted with acrylics something maybe down the road is, is, is problems more problems or you can see there's more problems coming maybe this is her original paint I just don't feel it is though but anyways Regardless, we need to dress this this big girl. Get her out of her winter dress and get her into her, um, I think we have some company here. We're filming, Stephen. Oh, is it Stephen? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. So, and our son just came in. So, and he's bearing gifts of some sort of the other. I gotta go check and see later what he brought. Anyways, um, there we go. Get that off of her. And again, she has 
a white t-shirt on, on, on underneath. She has a regular diaper. Let's check that diaper to make sure it's not getting old on her. They start turning brown. No, that looks good. This is a size 4, I think, diaper. When's the last and, time you changed that diaper? Oh, about maybe a year ago. But it's still doing good. It's not, like you can tell, they start to turn brown inside. And it's not doing anything to her. It looks good. Um, so we're, we'll keep going with it. I'm more than sure this is a size 4. But it's got Mickey and Pluto on it. We got to keep it on her. You know how many mothers there are out there wishing they only had to change their kids' diapers once, once a, a year. year? The once a year diaper, everybody. Ooh, I don't know if I would want to even change it after once a year. <laughs> but anyhow, a nice diaper all the same. I picked these up. We were out in the country one day and there was like a, what do you call that place? It was like a, oh, we stopped at it there and it had a bunch of everything in it. And I found these, you know, um, it's like a, a liquidation. It was a liquidation place. Then they moved it into Thamesville. Oh, right, right. I got this out in the country before they moved into Thamesville. And um, we were just out, out and about in the car. And um, I seen them and I, I thought, oh, I'll pick them up because I got some big dolls that could use them. And um, before, But I do want to see my big dolls get into cloth diapers. That is my goal, is to get cloth diapers on them. So, But right now we're going to go with what I got. Let's get the dress on her. And um, again, I'm going to go with the same dress that she, her sister is wearing here. And um, with the buttons going down the back. And I think this one, this is the bigger dress, and I think this one will fit her so much better because she's got the longer legs and she can, it, stre it can stretch out on her. So let's see. Maybe not. If not, i got other dresses here. You can see her paint is starting to come, come off. I think this was a repaint, and it was acrylic. And they all sit in the same room. So the room gets looked after very well, but it's sometimes how composition goes. So she might be up for a, to be redone way down the road. So a doll restorer's work is never, never done. No, just like woman's work is never done. No, you can keep doing housework till the cows come home, and then some too after that. But as that may be. Got a nice head on her. Oh, I love her. Now, see how that fits her so much nicer. And even when we, I'm going to stand her up, John. And even when you stand her up, their dresses were long back in those days. So, see how she just needs a little bit of fluff in there just to kind of that head up. But anyways, as that may be, she, she's looking good all the same. She's a nice, great big baby. Now, let's get, get those. Um, and I want to say something to somebody on here. Diane Whalen, I hope I got your name right. You are a hoot. I would like to meet you someday. I read your comments and I just love them. Oh my goodness. Not that I don't love any, every, I, I read everybody's comments. But you get me laughing on there. But um, anyways, I had to say that anyways. And another thing I want to say. Now these are Joe Fresh size 1. That's about the size of what these dolls wear, about a size 1. Now this is also, what sizes are these? Oh, these are newborn. She can also fit into a newborn, but the problem with this newborn is, is that it just doesn't make it around. I can get it to like that. So, this just didn't kind of work, but they would look cute. They're like little runners, but not to her time period, of course. This gives more of a time period type look to her, so we're going to put these on her anyways. Yeah, they always seem to make these dolls with such wide feet. Oh, it's, it's not, the foot is good. It's around that ankle, those big chubby legs, you know, they, they, they give them. Now, the, hers are not as chubby as what her sister over there is. So, you know, like, you know, the, the molds are different, of course, because of the sitting position and whatnot. So... Um, going back to what I was saying there, Diane, you make me laugh. Oh my goodness, I, I love your your comments and everything. Keep them coming; those were great, and everybody else too. But I want to say one more thing also. I hit a thousand subscribers not too long ago, and I want to thank everybody for being out there supporting me and John, and just um, staying with me. And I know I get shaky from time to time, and I jump around a lot, and um, I, I may not be the greatest speaker out there. And I make my mistakes. I hear them when I play back my videos. And I go, what was I doing? But you know something? You're getting me. This is Tammy, you know. So, um, But a lot of you have learned to, to like me and to, um, to stay with me. And that I appreciate in every sense of the way. Um, there's going to be a lot more coming. I'm getting better at this, of coming out of my shell and, and talking more. Um, it, it takes a lot out of me to, to talk like this. I'm, I really am... Not, 
more withdrawn from this type of stuff, but I want to be better at this and do more of this. I really do enjoy it in my own way, and that's why I keep doing it. Um, so that I just want to say that to everybody. Thank you for being there. Thank you for your comments, and thank you for looking into the future of where we're going to go with our doll restorations. I don't know everything. Um, that's why I lean on a lot of other people out there. There's a lot of other people that are on my site that know a lot of information and that help me out and I help them too. And we help each other and that's what this is about. I don't want this to become stuffy or anything of that sort. Um, I want to see this channel grow and bring in more people that are just a little bit maybe on the scared side to step out into this. Um, there seems to be a stigma when you say you collect dolls and that and people kind of you know, look at it, at it some, not all, just just some that look at it maybe in an im... Stephen, get that phone! Maybe look at it as an immature type of thing for a woman maybe my age to collect. But, get, it's out here. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> it took me right off track. But, I just want to say that, wow. that, you know, I, I appreciate everybody for um, sticking with me and seeing me through this and um, my videos are getting better I think and um, I think we're doing better than what we did even a year ago so and that's the growth that you're looking for and um, I'm trying to uh, do a, a, a diverse amount with my dolls showing you how I change them just instead of just saying here I changed them some people like to see their construction underneath the things that I do with them. I've heard from a lot of people how they, they've enjoyed listening and watching and seeing. And some people need that. I do. I love seeing that type of stuff being done. Um, I grow on that type of, 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 of video. So I'm going to try to do a little bit of everything for everybody. And not just for that. It Also, I love doing it. If there's no love, you won't do it. So there's a love behind this. And I love showing my dolls. My, I don't want my dolls just to be in my room where nobody ever sees them. I want them to be part of the world out there and let people see them. Um, that's like I said down the road, one of the things that I would like to do is to do a show and show my dolls and talk to people. That's going to take a lot out of me, but I can do it. This doll, this dress does look a little bit on the big side when it comes to the arms. I'm not completely happy with it um, as I'm looking at it on her. All of a sudden I just got this um, I don't know look. It just doesn't hit, it's not hitting me as the dress for her. I just can't, I'm like that. If something doesn't hit me right, I have to go to the next thing, which I did do. So let's go to the next thing for her. Um, it's just not yeah, speaking. Kind of looks like she's got a parachute on. Yeah, rather than a coming dress. in. We're <laughs> landing. So let's go to something else here. So I'm going to do something else. It's not hitting me as I'm talking to you here. But I hope you understand what I'm saying. And um, leave your comments. All of you. I've enjoyed everybody's. And I had a gentleman on there the um, last night talk, talking to me about a doll that he's going to get a hold of me about that he wants to know about. And I'm going to be opening it up to everybody. If I don't know who the doll is, then I'll open it up to everybody else. And he wants uh, somebody to identify it for him. Or just give him some information about it. So, um, oh boy, this one's going to be quite the, the, the dress to put on her. But I want to show it to you and I want to put it on her. This here is a very old dress. And it is, I would say, I'm going to say, now maybe somebody else might not say something different, but I really feel it could be from the 20s. It just has that look to it, you know, but um, let's see. Let's get it on her. And um, sure, it should have a slip underneath. i got to get my slips out. But you know what? With the, I'm hoping with the white underneath we can get away with it. Oh, doesn't that look beautiful? The warm weather's coming. Don't she need won't sleep. freeze. That's right. We're hovering around 60 degrees today right now. But we're not at the top of our, our heat yet. So we might hit 62. <laughs> so it could get really warm for us at 62 here. But all oh, these little buttons. There's only two and I'm having I'm struggling with them. Wow. And you know, do this with a moving baby. There we go. All right. Because this is meant for a bigger doll, a bigger baby too, at that, so. Let's just see if we can get this on her. Oh, one last little button. There we go. We did it. There we are. And let's see how this, this dress looks on her. Oh, I think I'm liking this better. Oh, yes. 
Isn't that gorgeous on her? That, that speaks more to me. I don't know what it is. All of a sudden, I'm just falling in love. Those sleeves were bothering me. Yeah, that I just couldn't, I couldn't connect. Like that, I connected with her, that other dress. But that one there, oh yes. Now let's get a bonnet on that head. Because it's windy here, it's cold. And we need to cover up those that, that head. There we go. Oh my goodness, yes. Look at that. Oh, she looks sweet. That's what you need with a doll like this. You need these bonnets. They had big bonnets back then. And I do have one of them, and I should get it out sometime and show it to you and put it on her. i got a great big wide brim bonnet. Oh, there you go. Now that I like. That snaps. Yeah. So sometimes you just got to keep going and, and looking for the right dress that speaks. And, um, you know, um, it's not always the first one you have, nor it may not even be the second dress that you have. But this is an older dress with hand embroidery on it. It has the open window up here. I don't know what you want to call that, but it looks really pretty and everything. And um, I like how it's trimmed in blue with a little bit of a puff sleeve on it and everything. No elastic in the sleeve, which is what I like. So that way you can get it through. But anyways, um, very nice. There we go. Doll number two done. And again, everybody, thank you for supporting us and um, getting me through to a 1,000 subscribers. And we're moving on and moving up. And um, a lot more to come. John is still working on his... Uh, Farmer, Farmer on, the, the tractor. on the tractor thing, so he's coming. Oh, and I I did bring this out for her. I don't know if it's going to go good with her now, but we'll give her a chickie. Yeah, sorry for taking so long on the farmer and the tractor, but... He's rebuilding a whole thing here, so... The tractor said that he's sick of his old look. He wants a new look for his brand new show. There we go. So, um, giving him better wheels... Better motor, better everything. There we go. I can't wait to show you. Yeah, so it should come out pretty good here. So, again, thank you for joining us on this here, this adventure of ours. And we're, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, that we're going to do a lot more. I have a doll that came in. I haven't shown her to you yet. I'm just waiting and I'm, I, I got, I'm putting together something, even myself, on my own for that. So, stay tuned. There's, like I said, we got a lot on the, the plate here when it comes to the, to the doll world and, and uh, farmer on the tractor. So I hope you stay with us and um, a lot, like I said, more to come. We couldn't be doing this without your help. So thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.